a free open source AI image to video tool that incorporates emotions. Just upload an image and video, and you will get a perfect output video with complete emotions and expressions. You can generate almost every type of video style, such as animation, Pixar, realistic, oil painting, and much more. In this video, I will share three methods to access this tool for free and use it for unlimited generations. Before we dive in, make sure to subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon so you never miss the latest updates. So, without further delay, let's get started. Live Portrait is an efficient and amazing tool to generate emotions in videos. This tool was developed by Kwaishu Technology, the same company that created an amazing AI video tool called Kling. In the upcoming days, I will share a complete method to access this tool as it requires a Chinese number. As of now, this tool is not officially launched, but you can try it by following open source methods. If you are familiar with a coding setup, you can follow this complete guide to use it with Git and Conda. If you are keen to explore and run it locally, just follow the video link given in the description of this video. But for this video, I will share other ways to access this tool for free. Let's move on to the first method, called the Hugging Face method. Click on the given link in the description, and you will be directed to this page. The interface is simple and clean. Just upload the image you want to add emotions to and a driving video. Let's start with this image by clicking on it. Now, I will choose the video from this list. You can see the facial expressions in this video. Scroll down to the bottom and click on this animate button. Wait for a couple of seconds. Here we have the final output. Look at the expressions, how perfectly they have been picked. That looks crazy. And here we have a comparison video. Let's try another image. This time, I have uploaded this image generated from Leonardo AI. To generate emotions, I will upload this video. Just click on this animate button and wait for the final output. Look at the final output. How perfectly this image has picked the facial expression without any disturbance or morphing. That looks awesome. This time, I have used a realistic character image with some advanced type emotions. Let's see how perfectly it generates the videos. You may feel a little bit of oddness, but overall, it has picked the facial expressions and generated some cool results. Let's move on to the second method. Just follow the link and you will be moved to this replicate.com website. This method is almost the same as the previous one. Here, you have some settings to control the emotions and frame rates, but I will go with the default settings. Let's upload an image and video by dragging them here. Here, I have uploaded the image of Donald Trump and this video. Scroll down to the bottom and click on this Run button. This process will take some time, but not more than a minute. Here we have the final output. Although it has picked the facial expressions, there is a little bit of an issue with the teeth part. Another issue with this website is it generates only a 5 second video. Here I have uploaded an anime character image and video. The final output looks bizarre, as you can see that the head is separating from the body. The results from this website are not very astonishing. Let's move on to the third method, that is using Google Colab. Just follow the given link in the description and head over to this page. Click on the Runtime menu at the top and choose this option to select the hardware accelerator. By default, the T4 CPU is selected. If not, you can choose it from here. Now click on the Connect button at the top and wait for a couple of seconds. Here, you can see that we are connected now. Now click on this button to start the process. This process will not take more than a minute. Now click on this folder and upload your image and video by clicking on this Upload button. 
Here, you can see that our image and video have been uploaded. Click on three dots and copy the path for the image. Now paste the image path address here. Similarly, copy and paste the video path as well. Now click on this play button and wait for a couple of minutes. Here, you can see that the process is completed. To access your generation, click on this folder and open the first animation folder. Here, we have our generations. Just click on three dots and download them one by one. And here, we have the result. These results look great. To generate another video, just upload the image and video, and then replace the path as we did earlier. Just click on this play button, and your generations will be available in the animation folder. For me, the first and last method looks perfect. So, which method is perfect for you? Please share your views in the comment box. That's all for this video. Make sure to like and share this video, and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching. See you soon with more exciting stuff.